Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Again, we are still on the weather watch tracking uh, tropical storm slash hurricane Sandy, who is currently passing over Jamaica. Now, the weather isn't so bad. You see, it's really windy. I'm pretty sure a bunch of places in Jamaica that has suffered damage. But I guess we're going to continue tracking nonetheless. After all, tracking is what we're going to be doing. All right, let's continue where we left off. Now, we had left off here tracking or horse screaming something. Now, we're going to continue with um, four point tracking. We're going to do two things right with this tracking video here. Right? So, we have um, what is it? We are here. What we're going to do in our project window, we're going to create a new composition window. Okay? So, new composition. Fine. Press uh, OK and let's see our wildlife composition in view here and it's still playing that. Now let's just trim our composition again like we did the last time N and just trim to comp area so we have the whole thing here. Now there's a video that you can download off YouTube. I can't quite remember where but um, <clears throat> That video deals with um, what do you say? That video deals with um, showing a green screen on a billboard, right? So pressing OK. That's there. This video really just looks like this. Um, sorry, a passage of clouds just pretty much just going by on this billboard here. So what we're going to actually do, we're going to use this billboard to show our horses running. I'm going to just hide this footage and hide this footage. Here's how this thing is going to work now. Back to our new composition. Right? Um, we're going to drag this green screen here in the lower parts. I'm going to hide the wildlife video here. Now, here we go now. Um, back on our tracker, right? Our motion source. We're going to be using um, this as our motion source here. So either do that or simply just click that. And then you're going to start tracking. Right? So by clicking on it, uh, track motion, it gives you your first track point, just like before. Now, this time, instead of the transform track, which gets position, and you can even get to get rotation and scale, what we're going to do is that we're going to use perspective corner pin. Now, it gives you four corners to work with. I'm just going to press tilde kind of to full screen this and then just move it at the different points we have on the um, video here right just move this here move that just a little bit out so we don't get any green parts showing when our um, footage is um, you know tracking right this is fine uh, so move this again a little bit out here like so right <clears throat> back to normal now so once we have that we could choose to analyze this video and I'm going to use that later but let me show you why I'm not going to analyze now if we look at this it seems that this footage was taken with a uh, camera on a pivot which is why you don't have any shaking happening whatsoever so what we can do since the corner pins aren't going to be moving any at all you can just hit apply right and once you hit apply and I show that the reason why when I hit apply it pretty much grabbed the only other thing it could grab in another reality though what would happen right let me just hide my track points because I have my tracking point one what would happen right with this you would have to choose edit target and it only choose the other target that could have been used we're just gonna fix this up back again perspective corner pin right till there just gonna grab these back to where I want them right um, just a little bit out a little bit it's not the really thing that really matters is the positions, you know. 
in another video with this perspective corner pin I'm going to show you another example of how to actually use that perspective pin to advantage and video copilot actually has a really great tutorial Andrew Kramer is a really great guy he's hilarious probably more hit but I'm guessing more hilarious than I am because <laughs> these jokes are, are funny <laughs> right right let's continue now like I said before we're not gonna analyze study the target wildlife is selected press apply and if we turn this on what we have is our wildlife video now let's take a closer look just to make sure there's a little bit of green showing out here now it can be kind of a pain to kind of go back and redo everything but what you can actually do is clicking on your wildlife video you can see that you have an upper left and that one right you can choose all the different points of your um there so <clears throat> what we can do back on this part uh i'm gonna choose the top one i'm just gonna set this to 100 percent 100 percent and move this up um select that right, and just move it the way i want just make sure all the other ones are fine this one's showing a little bit of green, so I'm gonna push this over. Right, um, this one looks fine, that one looks fine. Alright, so it says, like it says, um, something. Fill up to 100 back. Alright, so we are settled right there, and if we should play on our billboard, it's playing on our billboard. So I guess if you had your own commercial or something and you want to show on a real life billboard, just video clip that billboard, set your tracking points, and go right ahead. Right now, this tracking is much easier. It gets more difficult progressively. If the billboard is moving, you're gonna have some more problems and issues with tracking it. So if we look here, it's really nice. The it's kind of displaced somewhat. Now what we could probably do is um change the hue of it because the whole background is black and white. This is the only thing with color. Depends on you really. Just type in hue here just drag it into your wildlife footage whether here or down here in your layers and um, just lower the master saturation you should get this black and white I don't know if you want to put a glow in there if you want to put a glow in there go right ahead uh, I guess if you put in one it kind of brightens up the whole thing makes it kind of I don't know it kind of looks out there not exactly the most realistic thing in the world but you can just choose your glow whether on alpha channels or, or not right radius you choose that low intensity as well probably have a soft glow right here which is fine for me right just put back to add and yeah that, that looks okay mm -hmm. this is fine <coughs> so that there we could if you put the glow above here it look more perspective corner because these things actually follow particular hierarchy so right now glow is inside your corner pin there which is pretty cool all right so that'll be it for this particular tutorial i'm going to save this uh, as part two save as mm, not motion tracking but corner tracking one right press ok that's it for this particular tutorial until next time uh god bless and remember stay safe and if you're not be saved i'm telling you jesus christ can help you doesn't matter what you're going through it's something you need to know for yourself all right so take care